What up, HyperChange? We're only five days away from Tesla's battery day. I even haven't even had time to put out my official preview episode, haven't even had time to have breakfast or have my coffee, but Fred at Electric and Fred, Fred Lambert at Electric has just dropped what is potentially the news of the everything, which is the Roadrunner cell, Tesla's in-house battery cell. Um, that we've all been speculating about. You know, now they use those Panasonic cells. Are they going to go vertically integrated? Are they going to build them in house? Is this going to be what they produce? Is this the news that drop? This whole project, Roadrunner, to bring the cost per battery cell down $100 per kilowatt hour. This is the key milestone. Make it cheaper for electric vehicles to overtake fossil fuel cars. Totally disrupt the automotive industry. Like this is everything is in this battery cell that you're looking at right now. And and so basically, Fred Lambert has done an Apple style like leak. It reminds me of like these crazy leaks back in the iPhone days when we. Would like see the iPhone. We're like, damn, that's it. That's the one that's going to come out in two weeks. And so now we're just six days away from battery day. If there is going to be uh, Tesla building their own battery cells and they do have that facility at Cato Road, which is pumping out batteries 24 seven, then of course there's going to be a bunch of these cells laying around. Of course, one dumb employee is going to take a picture, send it to the wrong guy. Somebody's going to leak it to Fred. Wow. And that's what it looks like has happened. And, and half the reason I'm making this episode is just because I'm, I want to process this with you and I want all of your help in the comments. Um, tweets, everything, email to let me know what is your opinion of what these cells are. I want your help analyzing and, and just the, the crowd is, um, we need all the help we can get to figure out what the hell's going on here. To me, it looks like Tesla's official new Project Roadrunner in-house battery cell is leaked. This is it. It's way bigger in diameter. Um, once you look at it, the 2170 cells are like this skinny little tube. This looks like it's a bigger, fatter, thicker thing. Uh, this means they're probably going to redesign the entire battery pack. According to the electric post, this will double the diameter of the cell, resulting in about four times the volume of the cell. Um, if the new volume is used efficiently, you gain a lot of capacity while reducing costs with fewer castings, fewer cells per pack. It sounds like this is part of the overall cell to pack redesign that Tesla's done. No more modules. Um, I've always been curious if Elon Musk is going to go to the drawing board with saying, okay, we've done the battery pack like this. We have Panasonic cells. If we're going to build our own cells from scratch, let's just go to the drawing board, go use first principles, totally redesign what the pack is, go from 4,000 cells to, it sounds like a couple hundred of these much bigger cells without modules. That's going to make way more just the like physics arrangement of the space and the raw materials. Um, sounds like that could be a 20% improvement um, just from looking at this cell, knowing how they're going to arrange it without modules and that bigger space. This is so, so exciting. I'm probably way out of my depth talking about the technology here. But another thing that um, was mentioned was the tabless electrode patent, which Elon Musk was a uh, big fan of and said it was way more important than it sounds. So I'm very curious about that as well. Um, and then we also have electric reporting on something called Project Palladium. Now it's time to take the reports a little more seriously. I think seeing how right on the money they've been with this one, I'm um, saying significant updates to the model S and X, but now it looks like they can involve new cells specifically for that on top of the Roadrunner cells. So I don't know, now Electric's saying there could even be several new battery cells uh, put out by Tesla unveiled at battery day. Are we gonna get the Plaid Model S and the Plaid Model X to come out? Are we gonna get the Plaid Roadster and be able to do a test drive in that? Like there's so much, anyway. I'm getting sidetracked, but I wanted to make this video just to say this could be the biggest news in the Tesla battery world. This could be the aha moment of Tesla battery day was us to see the new cell they built from scratch that lasts a million miles, that is more efficient, they can build for the cheaper cost, it's gonna change the world. That is potentially what is leaked here. Um, it's blowing my mind. I'm trying to find out a way to disprove it, and but I don't know. It looks like that's what's happened. This is a huge, huge, huge deal. Um, I'm gonna be doing a ton more homework on this along with reading your comments and putting out a much more extensive battery day preview video. Go to battery day um, confirmed I'm so so excited and I mean this has just got me 10 times more excited um, for battery day because see I don't know even like seeing the cell like actually I'll be right back this I don't know if you could see this but this is a 2170 cell from the Tesla Model Y that was built by Panasonic in the Gigafactory in Nevada that was put in a Model Y that was torn down by Sandy Monroe and then put in this glue thing in a container for a piece of memorabilia. Thanks, Sandy. This is the secret sauce of Tesla's business. This is what makes every one of their products move. This is why I just spot, spent so much money on a Tesla. Can't wait for it. It should be here tomorrow, by the way, so stay tuned. But this is Tesla's competitive advantage. This is their secret sauce that really separates them from everyone else. It's their battery technology. It's their battery that lasts longer, that goes further, that's more reliable, um, that's built with more sustainable materials, that's built in-house, that's built way cheaper. Like there's so many layers and facets 
to the battery pack advantage, but it can all be summed up in the microcosm of this crazy new battery cell that they've developed, which just, you know, has all of these decades long of innovation of Tesla putting a million electric vehicles on the road, learning how to commercialize a truly mass market, affordable, reliable electric car. You know, that is really the breakthrough. The technology has been there in all these pieces and Tesla's now combining it into this one product. I mean, this is a huge, huge evolution for Tesla's business model to go one step further um, to actually building these things themselves in house. Um, you know, it's already the best in class technology. It's already the best product in the market in terms of specs, range per price, speed, all of that. And that's go about to get one, one step further. So it's not even like, but that, that's not even what gets exciting. Of course, they're going to crush all the electric vehicle competition they were already, but now it's about that big incremental improvement in battery technology means the tail goes down, means the addressable market for different product segments and, uh, you know, types of transportation that we can disrupt goes way up, you know, pickup trucks, not a coincidence, semi trucks, not a coincidence. These are, you know, more rigorous vehicles where the battery price and performance is a bigger part of that purchase. Therefore, the technology needs to be incrementally advanced to advance to really disrupt those verticals of transportation. That is what this new Roadrunner cell is about to do. It's about to unlock the, the secret to totally disrupting a massive amount of carbon emissions because it just incrementally pushes that battery technology forward. So this is why to me, you know, I'm so pumped that I bought my Tesla and buying a Tesla is so important because we're funding R&D projects like the Roadrunner cell, which are gonna bring the technology to the mass market to truly change the world that we really just desperately need. Like this is like, like Greta Thunberg, I don't know if she's gonna be tuning into battery day, but she should be pumped because this is going to be, um, anyway, I'm so, so pumped as a Tesla investor and just green. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I feel like this, it, I'm, I'm like a little bit bummed. So I'm like, damn, Tesla got so close to like keeping it a secret, but I feel like there's going to be so many other crazy secrets that drop at battery day. Like this isn't even a spoiler, but anyway, this is hyper change new battery day preview coming soon. I need your help on figuring out what the hell this new battery cell is because it looks like it's the real deal. See y'all soon.